hello there, it's Danon back again with Cryofall, and I guess you know what I'm gonna say now. No? Okay, it's episode 22, and as I mentioned in a previous one, I'm trying to kind of get as quick to the end of the game as is just possible, because I've got a few plans for a few different games, um, at least more interesting ones, before I can just uh, kind of... You know, be happy with what I'm doing, because Cryo 4 was an interesting project, but for the beginning, at this point, it's more of a grind fest, so... Yeah, um, what I want to start with is to show you... Show you how much I have been playing between the first... 20, 21st episode and this one. Let me see if I can just chop one tree down. There we go, we got almost 6,000 learning points, and I visited a military base, if we can call it, I, I think they are called ruins, so I visited this place, I also visited that one, and I think I visited this one as well, I'm not sure to be honest, but I know there is one around here that I would like to visit. And uh, we might do it today, together. But, let me get you up to speed with what I have been doing in the meantime, so that I got six and a half thousand, well, almost six thousand points. So, first off, I've been doing a lot of mining, as you can probably see. So that was first thing. Let me just drop all this so that I can just forget about it and carry on. Um, that's a copper ingot as well, so I'll just drop it here. Raw glass, gold bars. Okay, let's apply matching recipe and... Ooh, I don't have any fuel for this one. Well, let's just get a stack of wood and let's go and drop it in here. Okay, so that's one of the things I have been doing. Second one was the oil refinery. I've been doing a lot of um, gasoline, petroleum um, refining because I needed a lot of plastic for something that I will show you in just a second. There we go. Also, before I continue to the main point, I have expanded a little bit on our bioreactor grid because we needed a little bit more electricity. Also, I have managed to create engine generator right here because the amount of gasoline I got is just uh, it's just a bit too much and I don't really have any means to spend it uh, except our hoverboards which pretty much is constantly on full um, energy if that's what they call it, well, energy, it's fully tanked, so I could have used it on mechs, but mechs are not yet ready, and also, as you probably have noticed, I've upgraded our land claim to tier 3, and we got now 5 more lithium salts extractors and 5 more oil pumps. There is also one thing that I have to mention before the end of this video. There will be a second part that will last for about two minutes. And we finally, we finally have managed to find this creature. I couldn't find it before. I think my game glitched because I have never seen them before. But for whoever would be wondering where I actually found them, the... Um, Psy groves or whatever you call them, PSI groves. I found them in this area. So I couldn't find them anywhere here. I couldn't find them anywhere here. I found them on the desert, on the barren area. So if you're really searching for them, just uh, during the event, just go and have a glance on the desert area and they should be there because pretty much from one mountainous area to the other, I've seen lots of them and I probably hunted about 30 of them. 
And I'm a bit disappointed because I kind of wanted to do this event, but I'm not ready yet. Apparently you need um, behemoths to fight with them, but I will give it a go with Mano. But, 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 I have been using, I didn't want to use this. I have created auto cannons, as I mentioned. I think you, you've been there, guys, in the last episode when I've been actually crafting them. So I got a light auto cannon and I got a heavy one. And I just want to check them. But before we go, I also got a few more extras for you. And by extras, I mean... I just need to find it. I crafted some more advanced weaponry, as you can see. So, I know we had the grenade launcher, but I kind of crafted it from the get-go. I, I just forgot we had one. So, I crafted one of these. I know we have been using a heavy rifle before, but I just kind of wanted to use it again. And then we got heavy machine gun, which we haven't used before. Also, on top of that, we got energy weapons. Laser pistols, laser rifle... Uh, plasma pistol and plasma rifle. Well, those things need batteries, so we're gonna craft them in a minute. But before we go, I want to go and check how effective these two are. I'm pretty sure I had some ammunition somewhere. Don't tell me I spent it all yesterday. It's not possible. Yeah. I do not remember spending all of the ammo, so I must have just put it accidentally in some of the boxes over here. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, well, I don't have it. For some reason, I don't have it. Oh, mm, good morning. Maybe that's why I don't have it. <laughs> I've already put it into the uh, mech. Okay. So let me go and grab a uh, fuel cell, uh, maybe the partially spent one. Let's put it in the skipper, and let's get let's get the ammunition. Let's see. Oh, before we go as well, I want to grab one of the other weapons, just in case if somebody would be interested, because I know I've been just using most of those weapons while we've been going along. So we're also going to have a comparison between the light rifle and the light auto cannon from the skipper. So I'm just going to go and grab... What? Uh, okay, we ain't going to have any comparison because skipper just took all of my ammunition. Can I unload it somehow? Um, unfortunately, no, I, I cannot. Okay. Okay. It's actually... I like it. I do like it. I don't know how effective that is, because obviously we don't have means to, compa to compare it uh, without me actually having ammunition for it. And I don't really want to waste your time, guys, just to craft some ammo. But yeah, we checked the skipper. Wait. We did reload you. Come on. No, we didn't. Sorry. This one is much slower. So this will take a while to get somewhere. But I really wanted to see also how it compares against... Where is it? Heavy rifle. We had some... I am a bit confused today. Maybe because I've been playing so much of this game in recent days. Uh, well just yesterday alone that I'm getting all mixed up with the things that have been and have have not been done so let's get into this the manual that's the manual let's try and see how effective it is can we one shot a chicken no we cannot which is a little bit bad Okay, so I'm gonna get the light rifle, and light rifle does three shots on the pangolin. So I'm gonna change it to anti-material, anti-material rifle, the heavy rifle itself, and I'll see how effective that is. Oh, 
Well, that's the problem with mechs, they are very slow. So what I will want to do before next episode, I will want to try and get the um, behemoth. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I will definitely push to make one, but I don't know if I will be able to... <coughs> Sorry. I don't know if I will be able to actually do it, because it uh, depends how much time I will have. Anyways, as you can see, I've discovered an industrial crate, I've discovered a medical supplies crate, and I've discovered a military crate. And last crate that we have to find is a high-tech one, which resides somewhere here. I know there is at least few of them in here. That's apparently the, uh, the heaviest guarded, um, the most dangerous base of them all. I would like to try and go um, inside, but I do not have a hazmat suit, which will be a problem. But we got the apart suit, which I will definitely go for it. Let me just drop stuff that I won't use anymore, which is this. Mm. Okay. I don't know if we got enough of ammunition, but I really want to go and check. Oh, great job. I really want to go and check how we're gonna... How are we going to hold against the um, radiation in there? Because also, worth thing, one thing worth mentioning is I finally figured out what is the um, anti-mutation medicine for. So I have ventured into this, I think it was this base, or this one here. And the radiation was so high, probably as in all of the... Um, basis that I've just basically got inside and by the time I looted three or four crates my radiation was on like another level and I was like I have no chance to get out of here so I will just take as many crates open them and then um, try to get out of here so I basically died over there I, I went over there but I've noticed I had a small uh, mutation sign in here and all it does it's like an indefinite trait on your character or state of your character when you died of radiation then your character mutates apparently you don't see anything but apparently your character mutates and you accumulate radiation up to 10,000 percent faster which means once you would get in there you'd probably instantaneously die so you had to craft one of these and and then yeah it kind of helped me getting back to normal so what I want to do now is to get some get some medicine against the radiation. Oh, we got enough of this, so I will just grab all of that. And I'm pretty sure I should have some medical um, components. I don't know how they are called. Pharmaceutical chemicals. Okay, so let's go for radiation prevention and anti-radiation I think for current venture it should be enough I will make more because as you can also see I've got some solvents I got some formulated gunpowder which is used for um, this ammunition then we got disposable batteries heavy duty batteries on that note let me recharge my flashlight there we go so, we got the batteries, we got the heavy duty batteries, pharmaceutical chemicals, we got industrial chemicals, bandages, and optical components. And most of this stuff was used for, like, optical components for um, laser rifles and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, let me just go and grab also some of this, because I crafted medkits yesterday. Finally, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and go oh, before we go there. We don't have any left. We don't have any left. No, we do have some left. Okay, 
So, while we are on our way to that base, see, I've just I've just checked the timer and it's about 15 minutes. Just me talking about what was crafted and trying to craft some other stuff. This is very bad. <laughs> um, that's why I kind of wanted to go away from Cryofall. It is a very enjoyable game, but it's grindy as hell. And um, I've noticed yesterday what is actually my playtime on this game. It's not 34 hours, it's actually 70 hours. In total, obviously not past few days, but since I started playing it. Back in the day I played maybe for a maximum of like 3-4 hours. Um, so all the 60 plus hours are on this uh, playthrough with you guys. So um, you can only imagine how I feel about trying to craft some new stuff when it's constantly the same. I only hope we got enough of ammunition because I really do want to get the um, high-tech crate. I don't know where it is, so it will be a mission. And also I have managed to get some new food, but that will be my later problem. I really want to get down to try um, and defeat Pragmium Queen and Sand Tyrant. I um, I kind of already missed a few of these, so I don't really want to miss any more. I don't know how this guy spawned here, but um, that's not a good sign. Let's see how the grenade launcher does. I missed it. Fuck. Oh, actually, that is a good thing. I don't know. Ah, uh, he's got big... He's got a very big range of aggro. Okay, so he should just bleed out in a second. No, come on, help me. I don't want to waste my ammunition. He won't bleed out. Okay. Ridiculous amounts of loot. Thank you. And okay, let me just drop some of this because we need to have some space. I don't know how tough he will be. Ah, not that tough. I went to the right last time, so now I'm gonna go to the left. And I'm trying to kinda look around. I don't see anything that would... remind me of... military crates. I have to say grenade launchers are very powerful. The uh, heavy rifle is also a very good weapon. I do I do commend it for that. I don't need this. It's the problem of playing with such high um, rates is that you end up with so much trash you don't know what to do with it. There are a few crates over there, but I still don't see any military crates. I'll go up. I'll go up because we got a lot of ammunition left. Um, also, I will give it a go to the heavy rifle. It doesn't have such high damage. But we can comfortably get a um, speeder on four hits. Where are the high tech crates? I just don't get it. And the snake, like I need him here. I don't like those Scorpios. 
I really don't like them. They are quite tanky. Okay. They're slowly running out of ammunition on this. We're still doing good on health. I'll grab them because... Only because I will definitely use a lighter. And another spitter. Okay. I must be somewhere here then, because I haven't been here before. Let me just get him out of here. This is a good tactics. Look, he's gonna follow you. And all you do is just go around. Ah, okay, he hit me once. That's it, and he lost aggro. So, does any of you see any signs of high-tech crates? Because I don't. There is a medical crate. The suit is actually also very good against the radiation. I think very good, it blocks everything. There are some solar panels. There is another spitter. I don't see anything guys, like genuinely I don't see anything that would remind of reminds that would resemble a high-tech crate and I'm pretty sure I've seen majority of this base already and we got a problem because night time slowly comes around and he beat me sweet come on lizard go away he ain't gonna go away I have to waste my ammunition on him. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. If he really wants it, I'll really give it to him. Bye up. And I really, really want to find the high tech crate. And I don't see anything. Bye. Okay, bleed out. And then spit it. Okay, this one's out the way. Medical crate. Mm, not good, not good. Grenade launcher is a very, very good weapon. I really do like it. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother picking him up anymore. I really just want to go and get what I'm here for. And then just get out. Is that it? That looks more like a military crate. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does say military crate. So, is this all for nothing? Pointless. Yeah, I mean, I will probably have to give up with this mission because I have no results. Yeah, I don't see anything that could actually that we could actually use. And we're slowly running out of ammunition. These are pointless. I can't. Cr I can't obtain anything out of these. And no sorry, now that we have the um, light gone. I won't be able to find it, <laughs> really. Mm. 
Hmm. I wish I could have waited until the uh, sun comes around, but unfortunately I won't be able to since I don't want to keep you guys here for so long. But at least I can tell you comfortably that if you are looking for crates, this is your place. You should come into this area and search here. But also another problem. <clears throat> What's going on with my voice today? Sorry, guys. Um, also, another thing that is a bit concerning for me is that I'm in the middle of the night with limited ammunition reserves. I'm good on health for now. But uh, I haven't found what I came here for. And I already have to get out because the creatures have started spawning back. It's a medical crate and that's a... Yeah, apparently there is so many of them here. Yet I didn't find even a single military crate. Oh, these lizards. Okay, so unfortunately I have to get out of here because A. I won't be able to search for it during the night and I can't really keep you waiting. So I'm gonna try and look for it in my uh, spare time. And also, I will try to get um, some more ammunition for the next video. Let's say about a thousand rounds, so we don't have to worry about it. I'll also get both of my heavy rifles. Um, I do like the heavy machine gun, but it's a little bit too ammo hungry. But at least you know where to look for the um, stuff that we mentioned. So pretty much all of the crates that you can look for are in this area. We've seen medical, military, industrial and food supplies crate. Some of them are there also. But I just did not see the uh, high tech one. So if I will find one I will let you know where exactly. But in the meantime because I think I'll be finishing this part. I will just research all of the remaining technology from tier 5. So I can craft some of this stuff before I see you next time, guys. Maybe even get the exotic um, mech. Then some armor piercing. And a better grenade launcher. And the behemoth himself. So I got the... Uh, Research also, the research, the um, achievement, so also research this. So this is going to be our ticket for the end of the game. And I will see you in the second part, which will last about two minutes. But I will show you what I have found and where you can find the beasts from the event itself. I'll see you in a sec. Well, so there it is. I've been just traveling across the desert looking for some pragmium. I found some and I finally know what these do, but I guess I explained it in the uh, main part of the video. Also got some lithium salts, but look what I found. Finally. You see these guys over here? Oh my god. They are actually dealing some damage. Let's see how hard they are to defeat. Apparently, it's impossible to fight them with. There we go. Finally. It's impossible to apparently kill them with uh, ranged weapons. Let's see. I mean, it's not impossible, but... It's definitely pointless. But hey, in this way, we literally just hunted the last creature that we were supposed to hunt and also we finished the last event that we had to finish 
So that is that is a very nice thing. So the only two things that we got left is a Sand Tyrant and Pragmium Queen. But obviously, without um, Max, I am not trying to uh, get in there. So I will definitely try and do it very soon. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for staying with me till the end. And I will catch you in the next one. Danon out.